to own it all. Amen. Today I want, I want to, to speak something about a, about a context of King David in Psalm 27. Gusto ko ito eh, kung ko yung buong context yung napakaganda. Amen. Have you ever came to this place? To Psalm 27, 1 to 6. Have you ever went here and meditate on this Amen. verse? Not just verse, it's a, you know, verses. So I want to tackle the verses. Amen. The, the context of Psalm 27, 1 to 6. And I'm going to read this at the end verse 1. Amen. Pwede ba? Kung gusto, gusto ko naman sana ngayon, sabay-sabay natin basahin. Pula 1 hanggang 6. Amen? Malakas. Ang mga Pilipino raw ay pangatlo sa pinakamagagaling mag-English. Totoo yan. Kahit na pag-issue may alam. Amen? How old are you? Where do you live? Hindi. Nagpunta ko kami sa isang bansa na inis na inis ako sa pagkatuan ng kaalang-alang na, na masabi ka. Ang hirap pa lang mga it's very hard when you go to a country na walang alam ka lang ng English. Yung know, nahirap ka. Minsan nasigawan pa ako ng isang ano. Sabi niya, don't speak English, please. Kasi hindi niya, sa sana yun, nasa Japanese. Hindi niya naintindihan eh. So anyway, let's get a read this verse 1 to 6. Are you ready? Amen! Okay, so let us begin now. Verse 1, ready, go. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. And on verse 10. Verse 3. Ready, go. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. Ready, go. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon the rock. Verse 1, verse 10. And verse 5, ready, go. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the joy Lord. for the Lord. To the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Sa kanyang salita, simulan natin dito pa lang, hindi na kailangan magligoy-ligoy pa ng kaliwanag, pagkat napakaliwanag na po nito. And I made the title of The House of Worship. This is my title. I'd like to welcome our visitor today, let's see, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel and AJ. AJ. AJ is not anymore a visitor, he's a family, right? And Emmanuel will become a family too. Thank you for all the newcomers this morning. For the newcomers, would you like to stand up? I'd like to praise God for you. Sino po? Yung now name lang dumating. Pupukulihin ko po ang Diyos sa kanilang mga. Sino ba po? Meron ba ang kagod? Mag-a-hatid ka rin sa ito. Welcome po. Ang church po na po, wala na tinataas. Kung yung ating Panginoon. Kasi so, Christo lang at ang kanyang salita. Hindi po natin ito babaguhin. Kaya kung nung makita natin sa church, yung may base lahat sa banal na kasulatan. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And pwede na po tayo umupo. Sa mga online naman na nakaka- nakaka-follow, welcome po sa inyo. I hope and I pray that this very moment I pray that no one, not anything will disturb you. Because I believe that the Spirit of God is strong, that it could penetrate, it could saturate 
through online or through this video system or this internet system as you are focusing on God. Amen? Hindi yung hindi ka nakapokus, parang nandyan lang siya, nandyan pa lang, parang tuloy nangyayari ngayon, parang tayo may rebuldo dyan, hello, na daan-daanan, at pagka na, na naindab ng konti, hihinto ng konti, at gano'n-ganon, nasabi mo yung ulit, busy-busy ulit, pag nakita yung rebuldo, parang gano'n lang, di ba? Bakit? Sa Panginoon, parang hindi yan ang maganda yun. Amen? Siguro, kung meron kang established prayer in a day, pwede yun. Kasi sobrang hindag ka may Lord. Kasi ako may banner ang pataas. Meron din akong mini altar doon. Na talagang may established time ako. At syempre, nakikita ko ngayon si Lord. Para si Daddy rin, kinikiss niya yung word, kinikiss ko. This is how I'm, I'm extremely worshiping God every day. Pero hindi po yung parang nawala sa isip mo. Ganun-ganun lang, parang ritual. Hindi po ganun. So, the same kung gusto nyo mangyari, hindi po naman lahat kayo ay sinasabi ng pag-ganun. Po, kasi hindi iba naman talaga ay hanggang ganun lang yung level. But it's alright. Amen? As soon as, long as you are, you are a Christian, you are a believer, you obey what God, the Lord says, you, you know, you practice and you walk with His Word. Amen? So let's begin to uh, meditate right now on this verses. Psalm 27, 1-6. I'd like to tell you something about King David. King David is found by God as his heart. Siya po ay katulad po ng puso ng Diyos. Pero kung titignan mo, if you, if you see and learn clearly or if you understand really about his life, amen, na buhay niya, marami siyang naging kasalanan. Amen? Kasi sinabi naman ng Biblia, all have sinned, all, and come short of the glory of God. Amen? amen? But thanks be unto God for His gift, the gift of salvation. Amen? amen? Na tayo pinatawad at pinapatawad at patatawad. Amen? Amen? May doon niya ng mabayin ang Diyos. Amen? Praise God. So because he, is, he loves us so much, He gave His Word, He gave His Son. So that means when you sin, He is willing to forgive you. Again, when you sin, He is willing to forgive you until you are grounded in His Word, until you are uh, having a heart that fears the Lord. Amen? So bulayin natin to sa akin. Si King David po, isa siyang king na malapit sa Diyos. He is a a king that is well, not only when he was king when he was yet a little boy he was very close to God siya po ay very close do you believe that even when you go to church if you are not close to God there is nothing happen yeah because you are not close to him you just went there to for what just for the sake that you went there you went to church but even Paul says you are here but your spirit is not here Eh, may sinabi ba ni Pablo yun? Nandito kayo, pero yung spirit ninyo, wala. Yung katawan niyo na. Meron nga siya mensahe, nagagalit siya eh. Pagpunta ko niya, dadalang ko yung pamano. Opo, gano'n ka ba si Pablo? No, dadalang ko yung pamano. Pagpapaluhin mo nga lang. Paano yung church? Yung mga kismisan, yung mga... Yung mga... Ha? Palengkin, you know. When Paul said that, yes, your body is, is here. But I'm sorry to tell you, your spirit is away from your body. Is that correct? Sometimes we are not like that. Let us admit it. Amen? Sometimes we are in the church for the sake that we went to church. But our mind is, oh, look at everything. Later on, I have somebody to talk to. Oh, it's going to be on my, on my lunch today, you know? Sometimes like that. That's why God is so jealous, and that's why He said, I, "I'm sorry, you, you, you are, your lips comes to me, your praises comes to me by your lips, but your heart is far away from me." So God wants us to be a like a Trinitarian worshiper. What do I mean by Trinitarian? Your body, your soul, and your spirit. Amen. Your body, 
your soul and your spirit. What is important is your body and spirit that will carry your soul to the, uh, you know, investing in for, for life forevermore with the Lord. So let us meditate on this. King David says, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And then,
for the sake of our nation. Hindi nga sake niya, for the sake of the nation of Israel. Hindi niya matanggap. Amen? Na ang bansa ni Israel ay napapanungayawan ni Goliath at o ano, sinulatan. Hindi na ako doon magpupokus sa ahaba tayo. Amen po? So one thing, but one thing that this man is very desirous, one thing that this man only seek, inulit niya pa eh. And in verse 3, one thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek. Ito lang ang gusto ko ngayon. Si, si Haring David na kalaban, he was a warrior, he defeated so many cities around Israel. Hallelujah, he is never afraid. Amen? And he, everything, he is a very strong man. But there is one thing that I desire, only one thing do I say, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. Now let me let me relate this to this generation or this ito na itong panahon na to this time. Can you be still so so many years or or forever in the sanctuary of God? Believe me. You cannot be forever in the church anymore. One day the church will be stopped by the enemy. The book of Revelation says he will stop all kinds of worship. He will stop all kinds of singing. In America today, the enemy, in, in, in California especially, the enemy doesn't want the churches now to gather, to sing, and make music. He, he doesn't want it. Nagsulat po si Pastor Ramon na hirap na hirap kami kuya kasi hindi na kami makagather sa labas, hindi pa kami makakanta. Ako yung niiyak dahil nandutuan ng ating Pastor Andre at Pastor Ramon P. Hindi na sila makagather. At nagsisimula pa lang doon yan. And this will be the whole planet Earth. It's not very long. It is coming very shortly. And while you are here, maximize your time to seek the Lord in His house, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Ano din ko ba? Wala mo sa sakyanin si nando kayo. Amen. A is ECQ, ano ba? ECQ ba ang pinaka-maigbit? Yes. ECQ. I cannot go. Lockdown. Well, God understands that. But once you are free, anong ginagawa ko? Amen? Hindi pa rin ba priority sa'yo ang Diyos? Sabi niya, si Haring David, eh, kung lang ang gusto niya mangyari, mag-duel sa house of the Lord all the days of His life. Microchips. It still is. It is a vaccine of eliminating people, depopulating people. Everybody. They will spread this to the populated poor countries to die. They want eighty percent of population of the earth to die because they, these enemies want to depopulate the earth because they said it is all diseases come from. The traffic, the pollution, the trolls, the so much people. So they plan to kill people, 80 person. And believe me, this first vaccine, but tayo po ay nagpa-vaccine, it's either masira ka ng ulo, siguro talagang papatayin ka na. Kasi itong skin mo na to, itong brains mo, pwede pumunta ang mga chemicals dyan. Naman po ba? Kaya itong vaccine na to, let us not receive the vaccine. Pero kung, kaya nga gusto ko sa inyo, that's why I am asking you to, to, to dwell in the house of God, to prepare your spirit, 
to strengthen you, to encourage you, so that you have the, a, a strong mind, a strong will, amen, to say, I don't need the vaccine. Okay, if I cannot buy to the firm, to the uh, primary stores, I cannot uh, pass by the expressways and all this and buy this because they need this ID. It doesn't matter. I can eat like uh, I can eat a simple uh, anyhow. Amen. I can grill my food. I, I don't need anything. That's why if you have clothes now, if you have if you have uh, something now, ingatan natin sila. Take care of it. Amen. Kung sa bahay naman, pagdating po kasi ng December, dito po itanong siya eh. Sabi po ng ating pastor at pera, at ang mga kapulisan, hanggang December po, ay G GCQ ba tayo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ha? Yes, GCQ tayo. We are like very free. Okay? Wala lang tayo ng matatanda at baka sa labas. Sabi niya, hanggang December po, hanggang, ilalabas na po kasi ang vaccine. At uunahin na po yung mga government, uunahin na po, papatayin nila ang tao. They're gonna kill people. And so we need to be very strong in the Lord. Amen? Kasi ikaw to, matatakot ka. If you cannot buy rice, you will come give me the vaccine immediately. I'm hungry. That this is the way it's going to happen. Amen? Oh, my child cannot, cannot have milk. So please, if I need a vaccine, but yeah, I need a vaccine now. So that my child can, can eat. My child will eat. I'm telling this is in preparation. My message is in preparation for us. But siya, napakaganda naman yung pagmalakas ka kay Lord. Alam mo yung mga pinakaya kung lagi na pagdo, tuwa-tuwa ka eh. When people was killed by tao dito pagbubo, beheaded when he was beheaded in Rome, he was smiling. He said, thank God, I'm an offering. Tayo siguro, babantaan pa lang na walang kanin eh. Sa'yo, gusto ng injection dito po, dito, tatlo, apat, lima. Sige po, makabili lang po ko ng bigas. Amen! Where do you want me to, back, to be vaccinated? My left? Okay, get my, my right hand, my left, my head. I just want to have this thing, I just want to buy this thing. That is why we need to understand the house of worship and worship God. Kung we, you know, Worship in the house of God. Let's say in the house. Let's say in the house of God. Say in the house of God. Worship in the house of God. Hallelujah. Is the strongest. The strongest covering of a Christian. This is your strongest covering. Wala kay pagmamalaki. Kasi yung iba sa atin, ginachallenge pa. Oh, di ba naman nangyayari ng mura yan? Sige, mag-ganyan-ganyan ka. Amen? Eh, pero okay naman kung nagpiprepara ka talaga ng spirito mo. Okay naman if you are really meditating the word of God. Okay naman if you have a really place of worship in your house that no one is disturbing you, that nobody can, you know, talk to you in an hour or something. But the Lord has said, still, hindi pa rin papasasabi sa mga gusto ng Diyos is unity. Amen. Gusto ng Diyos is with the brothers and sisters. Yun ang gusto niya. Hindi niya gusto ikaw lang. Yes. Ikaw lang, sabihin niyo mo yung personal mo yun, it's okay. But the Lord wants to see, He is pleased when He sees brothers and sisters to dwell together Amen. in unity. Yeah. While we are yet free, make your time Give your time. How many hours you have, or how many days you have in a week for yourself? You have six days and how many hours in one day? Okay. You have six days, 24 minus 4 hours. Okay. Six days and 20 hours. That's yours. Only four hours in the house of God. Amen. It's about the last stage. It's about for you to be raptured. 
mature. Amen. Make yourself strong. Amen. One thing I ask from the Lord, this do only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Hindi ka days of my life, aning na aning araw sa iyo. Amen. Amen. Isang araw nga lang, alahati pa, paglinggo. Pag may bulis naman, ilang oras lang. Hello? And then, listen, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. Why did David make a heart or had a heart like the heart of God? Why? Why did God says he, His throne will be forever and ever? And from His lineage, the King of Kings will come up. Why? Why did the Lord says in the book of Revelation, the very last book, it says, I will give you the keys, the keys of King David. Mm-hmm. Like the keys of King David. Wow! He was a very special man. Pero wow. siya ng babae yan. Mm-hmm. Hello? Ang daming kasamanan yan. Pinakasawa niya yung mga may asawa na, ang daming asawa. Pero dahil ito yung gusto niya mangyari, Kasi alam niya, magbabago siya pag nag-worship siya sa house of God. Kaya naman laging ganun eh. Kaya naman nga, na-defeat po ang Israel nung tumingin siya nung Cape and Silver. May mga matagad konsekwensi doon sa kanya eh. Whenever he sinned, God, you know, there is always a consequence of sin. And he accepted that and from the consequence, he learned something. Nakututo siya. Ayun ang ganda ng kaya ninyo. Gusto ko sa ni Lord. Ha! Bali ako. I'm sorry Lord. Sorry po. Prophet Nathan. Ano mas sumabarong sa niya? Mamili ka. Sinasabi pa ni Provena sa kanya. At sabi niya, tatlo itong pamili niya. No? Ito na lang po. Ayaw ko lang mamatay sa, sa kalaban sa kalaban ko. Parang saan na lang ako ng Diyos. At least kami ngayon nagpaparoon ka. Wisely. Amen? Hello? Maraming kasalanan. Pero nagugustuhan ni Lord sa kanya. Pag nakita niya ang siya, ibalik. He is a very teachable man. Nag-book na very repent at that siya, he all quickly to repent. Amen? And here, to be so the beauty of the Lord. Ano ba nag-i-gaze mo sa bahay niyo? Caldero, kutsara. Ano ba? Pagkain, yung lamesa mo sa computer, work from home. Amen? Ano ba? Siyempre, masarap talaga sa bahay. Kasi yan ang gusto ng kaaway. Yakapin ka at i-stay ka sa bahay. Eh, araw lang pala ng ba, di mo na pakabait ng Diyos. Out of seven days, isang araw lang sa Kanya. Amen. Out of 100% of your money, only 10% is for Him. How good is our God? Amen. And yet, we cannot accomplish it. And yet, we are not able to make it. And that's why He's his love and his mercy is so wide and deep. Amen. Amen. Wow. What is the beauty of the Lord in this house? Is there any beauty in the Lord in this house? Black paint, white paint, lights, what? Drum set and all this instrument. This is not what you make in song in the house of God. Dito nakita ni Harin David sa house ng Panginoon. Ano nakita niya? Pananambahan. Pag-ahandog. Pag-aawitan. Singing is what is so loud. Prayer. Alam niyo, malaya na kayo pumunta rito sa kanyang kortina. Mag-pray kayo. Sa Korea, ganun sila. Hindi, hindi sila binabawalan. Open yung church nila. Hanggang bukas pa, isa ka sa kanya ko. Magsasara na at pagkakanya-kanya na tayo. Sabi ng Bible, struck the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Maraming pastor ang uunahin. Amen? Nakukwestiyonin at pag wala ng pastor, wala na rin ang mga tupa. Amen mo ba? Magkakakalat-kalat na. Kaya ngayon pa lang, ipunin mo na ang dapat mong ipunin sa tahanan ng Diyos. Amen. What can you see in the house of God? You can see the Spirit of God. You can gaze on the beauty of the Lord. Amen? Yes. 
O eh, sino nga rin kayo pag sinabi niyong paglabas niyo ito, hindi kayo pinagpala. O, saan ka pinagpala? Sa mundo ito? Saan? Sa computer? Sa drums? Hindi ka naman ang pinagpala. Hindi totoo yun. Kung nagpunta ka para sa crush mo, sa music na gustong gusto mo lang, hindi ka pinagpala. Natuwa ka lang, masaya masaya ka. Pero hindi ka pinagpala. Kaya ka pinagpala, nilububan ka at kinover ka ng spirit ko ng Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Kaya gano'n. Hallelujah. Let's go on to verse 5. For in the day, this is what the temple and the house of worship can do for you. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. Now, after four hours of service, three hours of worship, six hours, let's say, when you come out, you are already safe. Because He came out from the dwelling place. He will hide me in the sick, in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon the rock. Eh si Haring David ba, laging nasa, nasa templo ng Diyos? Hindi po, hindi po. Pag pinag-aralan nyo yung one time ni David, pag ipag-digma niya, nasa bundok siya. Hindi siya nakapunta sa talagang house of God sa panahon niyo. Sa so, so, nasaan siya, nagtapayo siya ng altar. Hello? Eh gano'n ang ginagawa mo? Nagdulutu ka lang. Amen? O sige, hindi ka na nakapunta. Nagtayo ka ba ng altar? Nagbasa ka ba? Yung altar mo ba? Huwag kayo ma-offend ha? Promise. Pag na-offend pa kayo, wala na kayo matanggan. Totoo po yun. Huwag na matanggan niyo ako. Pasalamat kayo. Pagka darating ang panahon, wala na ako sa inyo. Hindi na tayo magkikita-kita. Sa ere na tayo magkikita-kita. Doon na tayo sa hindi magkikita-kita. Kaya huwag kayo ma-offend. Tanggapin niyo to. Don't be offended. Because this is not always be the hearing of your ears. One day, the deceiving spirit will come stronger than today, sooner or later. Because it's not only the hearing from the enemy. There are material things that he will hold on for you. And he will hold back for you. Okay, you cannot bring buy this water, you cannot bring this, you cannot buy from uh, pure gold or SM or wherever. You have to have the ID, you have to have the vaccine. So while we are free, amen, in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe. Naniniwala kayo ka nga hindi tayo nakikita rito. Mulat sa po, nag-worship na tayo dito eh. O pumunta kayo sa ibang church close. I think to honestly, home of J.I.L. is close. Wala kong sumasamba sa J.I.L. Sa I.L.P., ang lalaki niyan. Sampa, sa Cathedral of Brain, sa lado mo lahat yan. Ay, napakapalan mo naman. Amen! You are so blessed! Yeah. You are so blessed that you can come with your brothers and sisters. Amen! The Church of Billy J? No, no, close. The Church of Joel Austin? These are the largest churches in America. Close! So in Africa, they told me, we are not afraid, ma'am. We keep continuing our worship. And I said, that's good. We will do it together. And some of them are too, especially the big ones, because they are so popular. So they cannot hide. So they have big buildings. So the government still pulls them. Hallelujah! For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe. Amen! Amen. Ipon mo na, samantalahin mo, ilang buwan na, ber na po, ber. Okto, September, October, November, December. What is my prophecy? My prophecy in 2021 is a very strong persecution, strong delusions will come to this planet Earth. Not only in the Philippines, not only in America, all over the world. This is time for us. Amen? To invest in the house of God. Amen. The beauty of the house of God is to listen to His word. Amen. Ito yung beauty nito, hindi yung kung ano ano. Oh, ang ganda ng church nyo. Eh, wala ka naman yung terrace sa word of God. Yung buko ka niya, titigal ka, titigal niya. 
Nagtulang ako magkaling kuya dyan eh. Nagkaling ko na ganyan. Ayun po. Sarap-sarap. Sarap-sarap. Pag-ubo mo mamaya, wala na. Tulog ka na. Word of God na eh. Anong sabi ng Biblia? The Bible says, Faith only comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. And where did this Word of God come from? Jesus said when He ascended high, He descended some to be apostles, pastors, evangelists, and teachers for to equip you. And the Lord says in Jeremiah 3.15, if you have it there, then I will give you shepherds. In, other, uh, in King James Version, says pastors. After my own heart. Not from your heart. It's after the heart of God. So if you don't like me, I'm sorry I was given to you. Who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. That is the beauty of the world. Bill Gates, who are else are the richest people in this world, they don't know anything about God. Who else? The actresses, the movie stars, who can almost buy the whole planet Earth, they don't know anything about God. And then, you are the most blessed person because you know something about God. what happens to this earth. I tell you, the Lord says this generation will not pass until this, every little thing that is written here will be accomplished. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. We need to say it. The word of God, the promises of God here will remain forever. You will not stay on this rotten word world, ruined world, hallelujah, forever. Amen. There's a big, big earthquake that's going to happen, and the Bible says, one third of man dies, aside from this killing that is going to happen soon, sa vaccine. Maglilin na naman, at marami na naman mga mga. Hanggang talagang tuluyan ng dawa sa akin ni Lord of God, and you know, the best place is not on this earth anymore. The forever dwelling place of God. Where is that? Of course, aside from the millennial reign, we're going to reign here 1,000 years. If you overcome now, you will reign with Jesus Christ on this earth for 1,000 years. Wow. Everybody say, wow. Wow. Ooh, grabe. Oh, what na yun? mo na naman, Panginoon. New Jerusalem will come down from heaven. It is adorned, hallelujah. And then you will dwell with the Lord forever. Wala nang araw na nasasaktan ka. Amen? There's no more tears. Amen? Hindi ko reklamo ka ng bigaya ng bigaya. Doon wala nang bigaya. Nung muna hintay naman doon. Kasi dito, pag hindi naman nagbibigayin, ikaw naman ang awama sa Panginoon. Kasi hindi kasama sa worship. Ang, ang pagbibigay pa mami kasama sa worship, na ko ah. So one of the best worship is to give. You cannot worship without giving. Amen. Amen? Amen. We cannot worship without. When you come to my throne, the said the Lord, when you come to the house of, of the uh, prayer, the, the tent, you have to have an offering. That's why the Lord says, yeah, go back to Psalm 27. There is always offering. Amen? Sacrifices of joy. Sixth, in the last, the last verse. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surrounds me. We be the one that in kaawin mo, taas pa ng ulo mo eh. Ma'am, ako po yung kaawin niyo. Siya pa yung nagpapakumbaba. Tama ba? Eh, sabi niyo, my head will be exalted above the enemies. O kaya, dumaan ka, hindi ka nakita. O kaya, dumaan ka, sabi niyo sa'yo, Sila Sila. Amen? O kaya, maaway mo, pero nasabihin sa'yo, one day, mayroon akong gusto bilhin dyan, yung mga bilhin, yung mga libro eh. Ako 
um amor da vida de Senhor, então você não está me dizendo que o amor é a vida. Você já me dizendo que o amor é a vida, então você não está aí. Para o papai que está ali, é mesmo que eu estou lá. Mãe, é! Não me insulte. So when you are passing by and there are your enemies, it's either they don't see you, amen, or it's either they will just bow and say, oh, they're afraid of you, amen, who surrounds me. At his sacred thing. At his sacred thing. Kasi kaya dito tinatago tayo ni Lord dito, wala nakakamilig sa akin dito. Ako ni bawal pa ito na ngayon. Totoo po. Pero, nakita nyo naman, lahat tayo kalaya. Sabi ko, papasalan mo tayo sa Panginoon. May barakay, may barakay din si Sinyo si, si, eh. Kaya si Mama, sabi niya ako, bigay ko ang pagkain. Mm. Mahin mo niya. Thank you, Mama. Wala ko siya nakita. <laughs> Kaya nangyong baka, wala. Pagka tayo ay tulungguban niya. Ito. Tandaan nyo, nakikita nyo rito yung building, hindi si Mami. Ang nakikita nyo na espiritu nyo, ang nakakakita, hindi mata nyo. To gaze upon the beauty of your life. Amen? It's not your, your brother and sister that you are seeing. It's not the Pope. It's not the sound system. It is your spiritual eyes that see the Spirit of God, the beauty of the Spirit of God. And the Word of God is what you are seeing. Amen? Saan ka ba nabago? Di ba sa salita ng Diyos? Saan ka ba tumalino? Di ba sa salita ng Diyos? Amen? Hallelujah. Hindi saan ba tayo? Umiyak na umiyak. Maminig natin ang salita ng Diyos. Nag-worship tayo sa Kanya. Amen? At this sacred that I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. In other words, He says, I will therefore, sabi niya, kung siya ibang sabihin sana, no, 1090, or sa ano. Sabi niya, therefore, I will sacrifice shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Amen? And in other words, mga kapatid, ang worship ay pagbibigay, hindi pwede paghiwalay. Amen? Tandaan natin, Si Samson, si David, si lahat ng mga bata na ni Samuel, inalay sa templo yung mga yan. Ewan po ba? I mean, si Samuel, inalay sa templo, marami pang inalay sa templo. Praise God. So, ngayong gabi, o ngayong ha, umaga pala. So, iba-iba na oras na napupunta. So, to pray na, pakarami ng bahay po, tsaka bahay ng pastor. How many of you would love to be in the house of God? Tandaan natin yung una, yung unang verses, If you love to be in the house of God, verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I be? If you are, if you really know how to come, how to worship the Lord in His name, The Lord is my shepherd, and the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I be? So wala na yun, ha? Sabihin mo sa inyo patabi, wala nang matakot. Ayun mo na kung kasi hindi na natakot. Apat na bagay lang sa game sa inyo bago ang magbabas. Bakit yung iba, allergic na sa house of God? Si daddy mo nang sasagot. They lose their taste about the things of God. Why some cannot come to the house of God? Daddy Bishop said, They lose their taste about the things of God. Because this earth and this world is so enticing. You know, it, it seems that you cannot live without this earth without technology or what. But me, I said here, it's, it's either natatakot ka, you are fearful. I think, no, you know, man, natatakot naman dito. Amen? Hindi na. You are not scared anymore. Amen? Amen. Who shall be scared? The enemy or God? Should be God. Amen? Amen? When you have, when you are, the, the Lord says, the beginning of wisdom is about the fear of the Lord. Amen. So, magkaroon ng wisdom, takot ko sa Diyos. Ang reto, inatamad ka. Hey, nanya po ba kayo ng anak? Sino ang boss sa sarili mo? Sometimes you are the boss of your life. I feel like I cannot come to the church today. 
I feel like I, I, I. Hello? Uh, the Lord says, come to, to bring a sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Yeah, it's like that. Amen? Come into the house of God with a sacrifice of praise. So, tinatamad ka sa minusin ka pag sige, tatamad-tamad kasi si Pali ka pag sinipa ka ng kaaway niya, di wala mo sa kapumang kasi ka. Amen? Bakit mo natinisod ka? Amen? You are stumbled to your brother or sister. You, you, you don't want to see them. You don't want to hear about them. Kung nakikita ko siya, nagagalit ka. Kaya nga magpagawad ka. Walang perfect na tao. Amen? Ikaw din naman, sabi niya yung sarili, I also have sinned. Why should I get angry with my brothers? I have to, to forgive them because sometimes I also make mistakes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, hindi magpatawad ka. Kasi kung natitisod ka, eh, ayaw mo pumunta ng church. Oo, oh, napakaraming ganyan ko natagpuan sa buong day big. Buong day big po. Ah. Sabi niya, ayaw ko lang doon, ganito eh. Ito eh, ko lang ayaw ko, narinig ko sa pastor, ganito. Ito lang ayaw ko din, yung mga elder, bigla akong ginanong din. Eh. Kaya na lumalim tayo sa Diyos. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, grow in the knowledge of God. Amen. Amen. So, malalim ka sa Diyos, wala na yan. Yes. Ayaw na yung talaga. Amen. Kaya ng Panginoon, you, you must be surrounded by His glory. You must be surrounded by His grace. Yes. Hindi yung surrounded ka ng, ako si Aring ganito to, ito naman si si leader ganito, dito naman sa si pastor ganito. Eh kung yan ang nakikita na nakasurround sa'yo, wala nang pag-asa kung mamat ka pa at hindi na nakasamba. And then po, iba po ang nagsimba sa nagsamba. Amen. Number four, bagay wala sa'yo ang um, church. Wala lang. Pero pag ibang mga gathering, ibang mga events, mahal ka sa'yo. Pero pag dating sa church, sasabihin mo, bata pa ako, no? Nagsiservice na ako. Hindi mo nga kaya ito, umumusan yung tigad ko na pag-worship. Sige, pagbalaki mo yan. Sabi ng Bible, may nauna, pero nahuli. May nahuli, pero nauna ka sa'yo. Tanda natin, ang measurement ng Lord, the measurement of God is not what you achieve. It is your heart to keep going. Whether you are full or you are not so talented or not gifted, as long as your heart, seek the Lord. Seek His presence. You are so blessed. So you all stand. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. So, so far as the Lord like us to be reminded of Him. Sino ito yung nai-steal naman yung puso niya o nai-inis siya? O na, 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 na... Kasi minsan may ugali rin tayo na bakit pa hindi ako maunawaan sa ganito. Pinipilit ko lang po kayo. Kaya masabi sa inyo, okay, magagali, mag-open. Kasi pinipilit ko lang kayo sa tamang kalagayan. Amen. Ngayon, kung magagali kayo, wala nyo po kung magagawa. Amen? Amen? Oh, okay lang. Pag mali ka lang kay Lord, okay na. Sa akin, sa Lord, yung mga kumuha kayo. Pwede naman lang, pwede namin gawin lahat eh. Magda lang tayo sa mga consequence ng buhay natin. Marami po ngayon, magpapastor mo, nagpakamatay. May mga nagpakamatay na pastor ka rin dito po. Kasi, depressed sila eh. Nag-depressed na sila sa nangyayari. At marami po ang sususay, kaya kailangan nila ang pasto. Many people now uh, committed suicide. Ano ba yung isi, ano sinabi ni Pastor Glenn kahapon ba't ng suicide? Nag-put up ng business, hindi lang yun ang nilalat ang business na ron. Biglang nag-lockdown, biglang nawala ang mga business. Hindi niya makayang tanggapin, uminom, nag-overdose siya, namatay siya. At yung iba naman, nag-iisa na nga lang siya, nag-lockdown, hindi na siya ba nagadalaw ng kanyang mga mga tasa. Hindi na siya na nakikita-kita. Umiyak siya na umiyak na depress siya, nagpakamatay na natin siya. Ang sabi ko ng gobyerno ngayon, kailangan ng mga church leaders and pastors maging mga pari na para pupuntahan. Kaya nga pinag- pinagpapala pa rin tayo kasi may magbubukas talaga at puntahan ng mga nabibig press. Yung iba naman na namatay din, na-lockdown na, na dito, hindi na makauwi sa kanila, excited siya. So, hindi niya, hindi niya 
life is more salary with her. Pero nung pagdating dito, naubos mo ka ng sweldo mo. Kinula ko pa, parang pali mo sila ngayon dyan. Kaya nga po, minsan po, punta po ang leadership dito sa, may mga, ano, alam niya, ati Claire po sa, press na, para ng mga tula lang ganoon. Kasi lahat ng pasalubong niya, nabenta niya na rin kung saan-saan. Dahil wala silang panggas. Napakapagal po. Sabi mo sa inyong katabi, napakapagal po. Sige po, gusto niyo pumunta doon sa Terminal 3. O kaya dito sa Paranaki High, dito, naglagay po dyan si Mayor. Meron pang mga lugar na kung saan-saan. Na pwede kayo sa airport po, pumunta kayo, gusto niyo mamigay, magbigay kayo ng noodle, magbigay. Ngayon, kaya sila nagulog sa terminal, wala na silang pambayan sa hotel na pinakamurang ibinigay sa kanila. What a life is this today. Now, if you exclude God, what will happen to you? The Lord says, judgment begins at the house of God. What shall the end be to those who disobey the gospel? Disregard worship or disregard the house or the what shall happen to them? Oh, hallelujah! Let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord. Let us worship Him. Come on, let us dedicate our life to the Lord again. I want to show you that I will fall in love with your house and I will begin to worship you in the I'll begin to give or regard your word. I'll begin to walk around with your word. You can come to the altar now, right now. You can come here. Thank you.